up here in the editing room and usually you'll see one of my videos plane spotting or aviation and dispatch related but yep there I am uh, peering over the camera of the GoPro 8 as I go on a bike ride and one of the things I wanted to do is show you the difference at 4k 60 frames per second and the difference between the GoPro Hero 8 which recently came out this past fall and the GoPro Hero 7. More importantly, I wanted you to see it not in just a office setting, but in real life where bumps happen, wind happens, and everything else. So what you'll see coming up is a split screen between the GoPro Hero 7, 4K 60 frames per second, and the GoPro Hero 8, 4K 60 frames per second. And take a look at the differences. Right now, the sun, obviously, I'm looking into it, so you'll see a little bit of variation. And there you go. So the GoPro Hero 7 was on the back of my bike, and you can buy a, a seat mount uh, to hold the camera for the GoPro, and that holds both the Hero 7 and the Hero 8. And it was about 20 bucks from GoPro, and if you're a biker, highly recommend it. Obviously, you can see things from behind, and if for some reason you want to catch that rear view, it's a great benefit. Now as I'm going along here, you can see the difference a little, uh, especially on the GoPro Hero 8, the level of detail on the leaves, a little bit sharper. That true is because it's facing away from the sun as well. But the big difference is the HyperSmooth 2.0, and I think that can be shown here pretty well versus the GoPro Hero 7. One of the other things that I want you to pay attention to is on the GoPro Hero 8, one of my beefs on the 7 was the amount of wind noise I was getting, even though I would turn the processor up as high as I could and to minimize the wind as I'm outside. But on the new GoPro Hero 8, they actually have a separate wind function to reduce as opposed to uh, having just the audio component, they have an audio component and also the wind functionality on the GoPro preferences and settings. So listen to that here as I get away from the GoPro Hero 7 and just primarily then use the GoPro Hero 8 on the front of my bike on the handlebars. So enjoy that and I'll be back with you in just a moment. So taking a listen to that, what did you think? Was there a big difference for those who have used the GoPro Hero 7? And I know it was a little tougher. I should have put the second one on the handlebar, but the truth is I didn't have the second handlebar mount. But you can definitely tell a huge difference, and I'm leaving the audio as is at 100%, not messing with it at all, so you can get a true reaction. But overall, I was really impressed with that and of course the 4K 60 frames per second footage that goes with it. But the wind functionality or the wind reduction that I can specifically choose, especially when I'm doing outdoor things like biking or sailing or anything like that is a huge benefit. So right now, GoPro Hero 8 I've seen online as I'm filming this on April 19th. The GoPro Hero 8 is about 300 bucks on sale at the GoPro website. And then GoPro 7 has dropped down to like 230 bucks in some sales, and then especially on GoPro. So for 80 bucks difference, I'd say it's worth it. Let me know what you think with the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe and like this video. Just tell me what you thought of it. So thanks again for watching, and I'll catch you next time.